world! It's Kyiv, not Kyiv on the line. We know that you are already getting used to the interviews with the ambassadors, but that doesn't mean that we put aside our review of the most important Ukrainian news that happened the past week. My name is Tatiana Haiduk, this is my friend and colleague Polina Boychuk. And before we start, make sure you follow our Facebook page of Kyiv, not Kyiv, and that you have clicked the like under this video. Have you? And now? Well, great, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> There are not so many things that can please a Ukrainian heart more than a victory of the national team, another day off, Russian failures and the sanctions against Viktor Medvedchuk. So the last two actually are pretty uh, the same thing. Ukraine's National Security and Defense Council on February 19 imposed sanctions on Viktor Medvedchuk, a pro-Kremlin lawmaker. A day later, President Zelensky signed a decree sending Medvedchuk, his wife Oksana Marchenka, as well as six other individuals and 19 companies, all believed to tie to the tycoon under three-year sanctions. Some of the individuals are Russian citizens. The decision was made in line with the country's law on financing terrorism. The news about sanctions against Viktor Medvedchuk became the top news from Ukraine in the world media. But let us explain to you in simple terms who is who. Viktor Medvedchuk is a Ukrainian oligarch, pro-Russian politician and the chairman of the pro-Russian political party, Opposition Platform for Life. Opposition. Reuters call him Kremlin ally, Radio Free Europe, a political heavyweight and tycoon who has close ties with Putin. According to Intelli News, Medvedchuk is a personal friend of Russian President Vladimir Putin with significant business interests in Russia. And the Financial Times and the Associated Press call Medvedchuk Putin ally right in the headlines of their articles. Do you remember Putin? The one who has been waging war against Ukraine for seven years and who has annexed Ukrainian peninsula Crimea. And only the Russian news agency TASS writes about Medvedchuk as an opposition lawmaker. Can you see the difference? This way, it is much easier to say that the sanctions are a sign of suppressing the opposition in Ukraine. If you can see the difference clearly, we explain to you directly as it is, without any political politeness. Viktor Medvedchuk is the enemy of Ukraine, a politician who for years uses tons of the money and the media resources uh, to spread an anti-Ukrainian policy based on Russian propaganda. It was Medvedchuk who went to separate these negotiations with Putin, his daughter's godfather, to discuss with him the fate of the Donbass destroyed by Russian-backed separatists. It is him who for years has been transmitting to the audience of Ukraine of his TV channels an inverted picture of the world with brother nation Russia and Ukraine that suffers from the external governance of the West. And now, the security service of Ukraine said it is investigating Medvedchuk and the other individuals on suspicion of financing terrorism. The above-mentioned sanctions are tied to exports of coal to Russia from a separatist-held region in eastern Ukraine. As Radio Liberty reports, profits from the illegal coal trade allegedly funded the three TV channels Medvedchuk reportedly owns. The sanctions freeze the assets of Medvedchuk and his wife, as uh, most of the assets are under his wife's name for three years and prevent them from doing business in Ukraine. Prikarpat Zahitrans, an oil product uh, pipeline, owned by uh, offshore companies reportedly connected to by Medvedchuk will probably be nationalized. While Medvedchuk is looking for support in Russia, the move was welcomed by Ukraine's Western supporters. Medvedchuk has been under US sanctions since 2014 for undermining Ukraine's security, territorial integrity and democratic institution, tweeted the US embassy, supporting Ukraine's move. Meanwhile, Medvedchuk decided to respond to the sanctions using his wife's voice, Oksana Marchenka, a TV presenter and registered owner of uh, most of the couple's property, he recorded the video message and uh, announced that she decided to go into politics because there is no other choice for her and also because her uh, family, that is Marchenka and Medvedchuk, is the future of Ukraine. <laughs> Oksana, the place of the main uh, oppositionist of Ukraine has been taken for a long time and your family might get a great future on Rostov. Or, 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 or where, where they go to hide from Ukrainian justice. Recently, they have closed three propaganda channels that belong to Medvedchuk. The SBU has also served charges in state treason and determines Ukraine's national security to pro-Russian blogger Anatoly Shari. And now sanctions against Medvedchuk is just like a holiday for us. 
The national team of Ukraine seems to win. If Madvechuk, in addition to sanctions, will also get an official suspicion of terrorist financing and then will be fairly convinced and imprisoned, then we will ask to make that a day a national holiday. A week ago, NASA landed a robot on Mars. Her name is Perseverance. She is a rover and she is reportedly equipped to figure out whether or not there has ever been life there. I was watching this event with great delight for several hours. And what impressed me the most, apart from the fact that Perseverance is a girl, that is the vast majority of scientists, experts and engineers who were managing the landing and the whole mission and who were commenting on the event, they were women. The world is so confidently moving in the opposite direction to the stereotypes that stem our male specialities. And it's just great. I agree. And I will tell you more, Tanya. Ukrainians from the charity educational project STEM as Femme have launched an initiative that is beautiful not only in its idea but also in its implementation. She is Science is a large-scale educational art project aimed to draw attention to Ukrainian female scientists whose discoveries have changed the world world and to encourage girls to choose STEM specialties for their future careers and education. I know about this wonderful initiative firsthand. Well-known Ukrainian illustrators have created a series of portraits of Ukrainian female scientists. And soon, these portraits will be exhibited in the big cities and small towns all over the country. The pre-premiere exhibition will take place in a week on March 5th, on the eve of International Women's Day. The project is supported by UA, UN Women, and UNICEF. Moreover, young ladies under the age of 21 are encouraged to write an essay about a portrait scientist or a few of them. And to win a scholarship, we will leave you a link to the essay contents in the comments below. Uh, up until March 15, you will have the chance to participate in the contents and win. Let's forget about modesty. The thing is, Polina also helps implement the project, as well as a team of incredibly talented specialists from STEM is Fam, our friends. Even though we're involved in the process, I don't see any reasons why not to tell you about this wonderful news about our Ukrainian educational uh, fam oriented project. Otherwise, it looks like we can talk about the landing of Perseverance of Mars, because it was done by the NASA, and talking about the perseverance of promoting gender equality in Ukraine is not allowed because we take part in it. Ukrainian science, just like the world science, has a female face as well, and that is beautiful. Ukrainian fashion brand Bevza, beloved by world moderns like Emily Ratakovsky, Gigi Hadid and Sophie Turner, surprised the world with a new collection Fall 2021. In the brand's minimalist style, designer Svetlana Bievza presented a collection inspired by the image of Olha of Kyiv, who ruled in the 10th century and, according to Ukrainian Vogue, is known for her Game of Thrones, worthy revenge on the people who killed her husband. The neat balaclavas, one of which opened the show, were inspired by Olha of Kyiv, but for the 21st century they were paired with matching blazers and knee-high leather boots. Bevza also incorporated the image of the spikelet, a symbol of a good harvest and an optimistic year. In addition to the fact that the clothes from Ukrainian designers are incredibly stylish, wearable and that they set a trend on the world catwalks, they also demonstrate the historical heritage of our country and and promote it worldwide. Well done, Biopsa. And finally, we want to share with you our great personal holiday. These days, the project Kyiv Nad Kyiv has celebrated its first birthday. A year ago, we, a small group of enthusiasts who believed that the world should know more about Ukraine, decided to tell weekly news from Ukraine in English. Since then, we've recorded 29 news videos, written thousands of lines in your Facebook newsfeed, built a community around Kyiv Nad Kyiv with almost 6,000 people who are interested in Ukraine and its progress in political, economic and cultural fields. The past year has been full of challenges and uh, experiments. We made videos in Zoom during the lockdown. We started inviting guests to our studio to show Ukraine to our audience through their eyes. We have uh, written analytical analysis of the Ukrainian political landscape and given interviews to foreign TV channels, by the way, explaining the changes in uh, the way of thinking of Ukrainians what happened over the recent years. Finally, 
we launched a season of interviews with foreign ambassadors to Ukraine. And in addition to News Digest, we started generating news ourselves based on the statements of the ambassadors. It was a wonderful year and we thank you for spending it with us. There are many, many more interesting things ahead. So we accept congratulations and gifts. The best ones will be likes, subscribes and comments under this video and shares of the Kyiv Not Kyiv page with your friends. Stay safe, stay kind. Remember that Kyiv is not Kyiv and see you soon. Our upcoming ambassadorial episode very soon to be released is definitely gonna impress you. Sincerely yours, Tatiana Hajduk and Polina Boychuk from Ukraine with love.